Hi, in this video, I'm going to enable the JupyterLab Extension Manager and try out an interactive Python library on JupyterLab. Make sure you've installed Node.js and Python beforehand. Also, in this video, I've already pip installed Pano before I shoot this video. At the beginning, I thought I could only use Pano on a standalone Jupyter Notebook, but ends up it also works on JupyterLab. Here's the live demo. Okay, so basically I just found out that even after I install JupyterLab extension, I still can get the panel to work on JupyterLab. But I can get it work to Jupyter Notebook, which is this one. As you can see, I can move the point here. I'm just adding the interactive features to the graph. I was just following all the tutorial of the getting started part of the panel's official website. Just over here, you can't change it here because it's on their website. But on my Jupyter Notebook, I can do it like this. So if you will, the graph, you can see the interactive features. Let me just Control S to save it. Oops. Just close and hold my Jupyter Notebook. I can do it on my notebook, but I can't do it on my Jupyter Lab. Let me show you why. Just close that. Let me just go back to the very beginning. So just clear it. Let's say if I activate my environment, I've created that before. So it's my tray, my tray, and um, my tray env.scripts. You might have your own virtual environment. So the folder name, my tray, and the environment name, my tray env might be different on your case, okay? So I just go to the scripts folder of my virtual environment and activate it. Let me go to the page. I mean the folder that I store my Jupyter Notebook. So it's in my D drive called JupyterLab. Again, you might store your Jupyter Notebook file in the location that you pick. JupyterLab and this is the one, pywitzpanel.ipythonnotebook. So let me open that with JupyterLab. And I'm showing you what I did and what it didn't work. Okay, so just go to D drive, JupyterLab folder, and call out the JupyterLab. Press enter and then you're in the JupyterLab. You may press control, let's say if you're here, you may press Control shift c or just scroll down to the commands palette you see me already enabled the extension manager but you can search it by enable extension manager whatever then you can just take it okay take it then you just enable the extension manager so let me just Take the enable extension and then you will see do you want to enable extension manager I click enable then I will see this one this tab the extension manager then you can simply type like um, Jupyter lab something it's like this one so basically what I copy from the PyWiz website is this one Jupyter lab PyWiz okay so if you type like Jupyter PyWiz then you should see this one so just make sure I'm getting the right one. Then in this tab, you can click install, but I just install that. After you click install, you're supposed to be able to do the interactive features. So let me just rerun all the code. Basically, this one is the Jupyter Notebook that you saw a few minutes ago. So I just run and then I run all cells. Let me just run all these. Actually, you can copy this Jupyter Notebook is just the one I think on the getting started page for PyWits. Panel PyWits, it's all there. I'm just copying the codes for testing whether the interactive features work. So let me scroll down here and just shift enter run that again. And I don't think oh strange. <laughs> I can get it work now. I don't know why. Even though I'm, yeah, as you can see, I'm on my Jupyter lab. So, um, yeah, it's just miracle. Yeah, I can get it to work. Anyway, 
Okay, if you can't get it to work, I think you better try reinstalling everything. I just don't know why, but uh, before this video, I can't get it to work. <laughs> so, hope it helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.